we are talking about a lesser known pentecost a pentecost that gets very little attention the moment most people hear the word pentecost immediately they think about the acts of the apostle pentecost images of fire descending and the followers speaking in tongues even for me most of the time i think about pentecost like the acts of the apostles but there was this powerful pentecost that happened in john chapter 20 verses 19 to 23 and very few people are talking more about it what is this pentecost so what is special about this lesser known pentecost stay with me watch the entire video and we will discover the beauty of this lesser known pentecost see in the gospel of john jesus does not impart the spirit on the 50th day are you surprised most of us think after 50 days is pentecost 50 days after easter 10 days after the ascension of the lord so this is the numbers that we have got but in the gospel of john pentecost happens on easter day in the first appearance of jesus to his disciples where jesus breathes the spirit on his followers so what is happening here you you see the gospel of john brings all these elements that are surrounding the spirit together first as the jo- gospel of john begins he tells us about john the baptizer talking about jesus who is going to baptize you with the holy spirit then gospel writer john is talk is telling us jesus is talking about the holy spirit he is going to give it as a gift as an advocate without measure and all the references of the holy spirit are brought together in this passage on chapter 20 verses 19 to 23 and for those of you who are new on my channel i am father firoz fernandes thank you for being here and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button thank you for supporting me for my subscribers for my very faithful uh, viewers who have been part of my journey in the proclamation of gospel on this channel i have uh, videos of scripture of uh, spirituality and many others thank you for being there so in a way gospel writer john is connecting all these dots teachings on the holy spirit jesus ascension and his glorification jesus intimacy with his father with this powerful pentecost so we should look at this lesser known pentecost and see what's special about it we cannot just pass it away saying that this is the final goodbye of Jesus to his followers so the pentecost mentioned here is a culminating scene it's a christological climax so when the disciples receive the holy spirit they receive nothing less than the glorified christ and are commissioned to do the works of the spirit so what are the details that surround this passage if you want to know something more of scripture and especially of our particular text a particular passage always look into the details so what are the details the details are very simple it's is the story that the disciples are so in shock they are afraid because their master is executed is killed on the cross and they are afraid that the authorities may come searching for them in fact hunting out them so that they may also kill and execute the disciples of the G- of Jesus so they are gathered with fear and Jesus enters amidst them and what is Jesus's first words to calm his disciples who are afraid Jesus says peace be with you it is not a peace that the world gives it is a peace that will make the disciples bold bring about confidence to see new possibilities to overcome the world but when we hear the word god breathes the holy spirit on his followers immediately what we remember is what happened in genesis when god breathes life just like that jesus breathes life into his disciples so what does it mean breathing into his disciples it is a point of beginning beginning of a new creation it is just not to replace the world but jesus is breathing the spirit into his disciples to engage with the world the uh, the pentecost that is found in john is so short and so sweet but it has one powerful light about forgiving and retaining sin and we need to talk about it because that's the power that happens immediately that jesus gives his disciples whosoever sins you are forgiving they are forgiven and whosoever sins you are retaining they are retained what is this you know this text is like a shocker this is a very sweet story otherwise you know the disciples are afraid wow jesus comes in and they are so amazed jesus says peace be with you 
and then Jesus breathes the spirit on them. That's a very dramatic story. But then it has a very disturbing commissioning about whosoever sins you forgive are forgiven and whosoever sins you retain are retained. What does it mean? What does it mean to forgive sin and what does it mean to retain sins and why? So again, we, if we want to understand the details about this text, we need to understand what these terms mean. Like what does sin mean in the Gospel of John? Sin means unbelief in the Gospel of John. It is an unwillingness to accept the manifestation of God in Jesus. Sin is a conscious choice to stay away from God. It is not about moral failing. Sin is more about unbelief, our refusal to recognize the God's work in Jesus. You see resurrected Christ telling his followers that the Spirit will enable you to set people free. Scholars uh, say the best way to translate to forgive sins is to set free, is to offer release. The resurrected Christ tells his uh, disciples that the Spirit will enable you to set people free. Many scholars say to set free or to release is a better translation than to forgive. The disciples will bear witness and see other people believing and set them free. Bearing witness is a very powerful element to set others free because by your witness, they will come to believe and you will set them free. The opposite is disaster, a failure to bear witness and it does not allow others to come to the knowledge of God. Whosoever sins you retain means the opposite of setting free. A failure to bear witness is a failure to lead people to the knowledge of God and to discover the works of the Spirit and come to believe. Thank you for being here and supporting this channel in a special way. Uh, appreciate your time. Uh, if you have not given a like for this video, hit the like button, uh, share this video with your friends. And still now, if you're thinking to subscribe, not subscribe, hit the subscribe button, press the notification bell. I know some of you have subscribed. Thank you. And let's see you in the next video. God bless you.